you know, as a profession, we have to become much better at recovery because that's where it counts. Right. And that's, and that's, I think ultimately, you know, you get scored on, on response, but you know, as, as a nation, we, we're, we're great responders, you know, police, fire, public works, public health, you know, the response in the moment, we're really good at it, at, 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 you know, uh, uh, in, in the moment uh, throughout the nation. Uh, when, when it comes to recovery, uh, we really have to up our game on it. And I think if you, if you want to be, uh, if you want to have an emergency management program uh, that is first class, right, uh, you have to do all those things, but you really have to do recovery well. And so, uh, again, I think the, the, the dynamic is changing a little bit. Still do response, but I think we're ultimately going to get graded on how well recovery went and how, and how did we prepare for recovery, right? Mm-hmm. You just don't walk in recovery without a plan, right? You have to have, a, you have, to have all those things. And so we have to make a, a, a better investment as a, as a community and as a profession when, we come, when it comes to recovery. Tell you what, as a professional planner, especially an emergency planner, there has been a lot of instances lately that have seemingly happened without a plan. And yeah. um, that has been um, really, really tough to, to watch and to just like observe and to say like, I know we can do this better. Like we, we have the capability, we have the intelligence, we have, you know, the situational awareness, we have all these things in place to be able to make better decisions. And so, you know, a great call out for emergency managers, you know, this month, especially is get better yeah. at planning for the plan, you know, planning for the recovery yeah. uh, for sure. 